Day two of the 2018 Morningstar Investment Conference is well underway. We're looking forward to today's speakers, including Daniel Kahneman, Melody Hobson, as well as Jeremy Grantham. We were able to get a quick breakfast this morning. Now we're headed to the main stage where yeah. the first session will be a conversation by Sarah Newcomb with Nobel Laureate Daniel Kahneman. I am with Sarah Newcomb. Now, Sarah, you had the privilege of speaking with Danny Kahneman on stage, asking him some terrific questions. So when you think about the conversation that you had with him, what's, what's that nugget of wisdom that you think the attendees left with today? You know, I really loved what he had to say about how advice is going to be around longer than radiology. That AI is not going to be able to take over the advice industry as quickly as it may take over some other industries. And I think that that might have come as a surprise to a lot of the audience members, but I think he's right in that if we approach financial advice from a human perspective, then we can't be replaced quite as easily. If we're approaching it from a technological perspective and focusing only on the, um, the algorithmic answers to numerical questions, then of course we can be replaced by algorithms and AI much easier. But if we're dealing with the messier parts of human decisions, then that's a harder nut for technology to crack, and it's really what people need anyway. So I loved the emphasis he put on those softer skills, and he made a really interesting comment too when he was talking about his current work on uh, reducing noise, when he was telling the story of this in, in, uh, insurance firm that he worked with, uh, where the underwriters had a lot of variety in the way that they were um, valuing, they were valuing the, the very same cases. And, and he made an argument there that in case cases like that, algorithms are probably better than humans. And it made me think, you know, I think we need to be smart about understanding which problems are better approached by computers and which ones are better approached by humans. Rather than being threatened by technology, let's use it where it's best. And then that does, that frees up our energy and time to deal with the, the stickier problems um, in a deeper way. I think you got out the best topics, the best types of takeaways from your conversation with him. I thoroughly enjoyed the session. Thank you. I had to step out of the morning session with Dan O'Connor a little bit early. That's because the breakout sessions begin promptly at 9.10 this morning. There are sessions on using automation in asset management, fixed income research, as well as the session that I'm in about taming your technology. I would say that breakout session went very well. Excellent questions on technology. We are headed back to the main exhibit hall to check out the networking that's going on there and then there'll be another round of breakouts before this afternoon's keynote luncheon session. One of the cool things I found in the exhibit hall is this VR setup from Mesmerize, and I'm with Antoine of Mesmerize. Hi. So when advisors go through this VR experience, this is Daniel Needham, CIO of Morningstar, who's going through it right now. What do they go through when they're putting on the VR goggles? So uh, they have to choose between uh, either either one of three scenarios we've designed, and uh, it's um, they represent three different types of investors among all of them. And uh, it's either a wife who will uh, uh, experience the loss of her husband. Uh, then we've got uh, a millennial um, that takes a lot of risks. Right? He's talking about cashing out his 401k yeah, to completely. buy like all company stock. Yeah, and um, third scenario is a retiree that with health issues and the financial advisor wants to get her daughter in the loop uh, just in case something happens. And obviously in our scenario, something happens. So in these scenarios, advisors are now living in the shoes of the investor That's and the they're title. experiencing the glory and the pain of winning money and losing money yeah. right through this yeah, experience. Exactly, in a four or five minutes experience. Yeah. That's great, I love the experience and it's been a popular addition here in the it exhibit hall. Been. Yeah, thank you. Well, the breakout sessions are wrapping up, so now I'm here with Laura Lutton. Now, Laura, you're gonna have a conversation at lunch with Melody Hobson, and I wanna know where you're going to take the conversation today. 
So we're gonna ask her about Ariel, how she's grown the business, what some of the challenges have been, and where she thinks the industry is going. And are there any, some personal anecdotes you hope to extract from her and then share with the audience here? You know, she's pretty good about bringing her personal life into her answer, so I don't think that'll be too hard for me, but we'll see where it goes. Very good. You just finished a really great session on stage with Laura Letton. You talked about the power of one plus one equals five, finding your superstars in your business, also about building high-performing teams and being best in class. What can you say that is going to give our viewers and our audience that fire to do something positive in their lives? I think the one thing I would say is just to follow your passion. I think when you follow your passion, all good things come from that. You end up enjoying what you do. You end up, I think, doing it really well. I think a lot of people find themselves stuck and I would just encourage them to get unstuck to the best of, of their ability. We make choices every single day about what we do. My husband always tells me, everyone has the life that they want, they really do, until they decide that they want a different life. I think that's a great takeaway. Thank you so much, your session was fantastic today. Thank, Thank you. you so much for Thanks sharing for with us today. Thanks. Wow, Melody Hobson, she is passionate at what she does, and it's infectious, it rubs off on me. I'm passionate about being best in class at what I can do. Right now, attendees are going upstairs to the final round of breakout sessions, then we're back in here for more networking, followed by the closing keynote session with Jeremy Grantham, and that will close out the day with a final networking reception. Now I'm with Jeremy Grantham. Now Jeremy, you had a very thought-provoking conclusion to today's Morningstar Investment Conference. What do you hope is the main theme that the audience takes away from your presentation? That this is an important issue, climate change, that it's an existential issue. It affects the long-term well-being in a very powerful way of, of our, our species and, and, and also protecting a stable uh, global political system which un under enough pressure from inability to feed the world will, will start to crack up and I think there are signs that it is doing precisely that. I also want them to go back a little more determined to influence their organizations to attempt to get their portfolio companies to behave a little greener and get their bosses to be a little greener and to vote for green politicians and, and to really behave as if this matters. So there are things that investors and financial advisors, they can do today with their votes, with their assets, with their dollars to make positive change today. That's right. What a great message. Thank you so much for sharing that with You're us today. Welcome. So that puts an end to the second day here at the Morningstar Investment Conference. Some great passionate speakers, Danny Kahneman, Melody Hobson, and finishing up with Jeremy Grantham. That is a lot to take in, but one thing that stood out for me was how much passion there was in all the content today. Now we have time for one final round of networking in the reception to put an end to day two here at the 2018 Morningstar Investment Conference. I cannot wait for day three.